This is the abandoned canal. Ooh. Ooh. This place stinks. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Apparently the pike are playing around as much as the uh, cows are. Whenever I drive past this stretch of canal, I always see it and nearly swerve off the motorway. I had a thought, you know what, let's go for it, let's do it. This is well over 200 years old, originally naturally formed. It's incredibly overgrown. This is about as clear as the bank gets, so I've got to be weaving in and out all the time, trying to find a little spot so I can get a cast in. Enough is enough, let's go and explore this abandoned canal. <laughs> Anthony has rolled on in, but I'm going to tell you a bit more about the history and how cool this spot is. It dates back to over 200 years old, which is 20 times older than I am. That is just crazy. It's got the coolest features, like these massive gorges where the old locks used to be from 1819 to 1942. They survived the war. It is absolutely overgrown. I mean, this is head height with me and you can just about make out where the canal is. Common weed, azola, and floating penny wart, which is everywhere in this canal. But someone must have been just as frustrated as I am with the amount of weed and reported it, and they brought out the big guns. <laughs> the Trexer. That thing is absolutely awesome. It's like a massive Transformers or something. Getting the pike and perch today, but so far all I've seen is some small silver fish like dace and roach. But with them being close around, hopefully a big old predator is not far away. Let's get fishing. Now then, because I'm going to be covering quite a bit of water, I want to be fishing, that's the wrong one, something quite quick. I can fish quick, but I know he's going to be very, very effective. This guy. And hopefully he's going to pick out some beautiful little jack pike and maybe some cracking perch. This place is just so full of features, it doesn't really matter where you cast to be honest, which is so cool. They're both in the water and out of the water as you can see. And just over here on this far bank actually, you can see where the, the Trexer has uh, came along, got itself wedged in and it's already been doing a bit of work. So maybe this isn't as, a, as abandoned as I first thought. Whoa. Oh, oh, two definite hits. Oh, that's exciting. That is exciting. Come back. What were you? What were you? So the fishing is proving quite difficult at the moment. But what I'm going to do is I've got a couple more of these locks to fish. And once I do that, I'm going to head up on to a different spot of this abandoned canal. And there I'm feeling pretty hopeful that me and the trusty lures can pick out some beautiful pike. I'll meet you there. Owen's come to join me. Are you going to be my good luck charm or what, mate? Hard to read that dull face, to be honest. <laughs> I've fished the eight locks that are situated along about three miles of canal, got right to the end, lost a tiny little jack pike, just to rub it in, and I'm done. So, onto the more modern part of this canal now, because I'd say the fish have also abandoned the bloody canal, where hopefully the fish have abandoned this spot and then homed themselves in that spot again. We'll see. <coughs> but before we do that, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Thank you. As that was very hungry work, but I'm really feeling good about this next pull, so let's get fishing. Must be a pike near this tree. Not on it though. <clears throat> get off of there, yeah. You are kidding me. Okay, not move at all. 
you're joking. Follow it in. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. If only the pike were playing around as much as the uh, cows are, that would be great. Yeah, I can't deny the fact that we're struggling. Is that because you're just really crap at fishing, Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> We've got every feature you could ever want. Overhanging trees, shade, duckweed, lily pads, you name it, it's here for the pike to be living and thriving in. But the numbers just aren't here as you'd think they would be. But nevertheless, we're gonna crack on, fish on, and get a fish on the bank. The Miami Green 16 centimeter drunk bait. These things are pike magnets. I feel as though the pressure's on with the cows overlooking me now, but I'm loving the look of this next swim. Miami Green Drunk Bay is doing the work. I'm gonna get casting around these trees and hopefully pull a pike out. Oh, 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 what a hit! <laughs> oh, would you believe it? No, the fish! Oh, would you believe that? <laughs> oh fish they're actually here oh my days oh what a surprise i'm actually relieved to see fish <laughs> what a take as well to get from the first little bit of action there oh that's motivated me and gave me all the confidence i need with the miami green drunk bait to get back on the bank and land some fish so let's get it cast in and catch a bloody fish now we've got boats either side and all sorts of weeds that's coming up to the top of the surface of the water going down about three or four foot i imagine it can be quite thick, so what I'm going to do is cast just around them and then twitch the Miami Green drunk bait just out of them and then as it gets out of the thick weed, I'm going to twitch it through, let it sink and I think a pike's going to come up any second now and smash it. Yep! There's a fish! There's a fish! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, he's digging deep. Oh, it's just a little one. But that took it straight away. Oh, the move was the Miami green. He's gonna pop off, I think. Don't need to net you. Ah, oh, nice. Just lightly hooked. Look at that, comes out straight away. <laughs> oh, we have grafted hard for you. You've been sat on the bottom. Look at all those lice on him. Look at all those lice. Beauty. Let's get a slip back. Crocs were a bad idea. I'm a canal rookie, drenched to the knees. Okay. This one took as soon as the lure hit the water. Smash that Miami green drunk bait there, get a slip back. Screw you. Come on, pikey, pikey. Ooh, I'm feeling a fish. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we needed you. There we go, just as I was saying, it's just a matter of finding the fish. Oh, and they come right out for this lure. He's going to pop off, I do believe. Grab the trace. Ugh. You are pike bait. Ooh. Teeny, again, full of ice. Absolutely teeny. Let's get him popped back. God, you've messed that up. That was a really weird hit, actually. I felt the original knock, and then it must have darted forward and slacklined me, and then as I reeled in, I felt the weight, and that's when I gave it a strike. Well, there goes the fishing. Two boats have just come along and made the canal the same colour as the fishing's been. Shut. 
What a blast fishing the abandoned canal and fishing the main stretch of this canal's been. Well over 20,000 steps over the course of this fishing session to get a real feel for what the abandoned canal has to offer. Nothing. With a bit more research, I found out that the abandoned canal had actually been raided by otters and had just struggled over the years to actually get back to its full fishing form. But if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed exploring the abandoned canal with me, let me know in the comments, smash the likes and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching again. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll be getting a lot more fish on the bank.